Welcome back to the Atranas QX7 series of videos. Look in the description below for a link to the playlist. Now it's time to add a receiver to our multi rotors, bind it, connect to it, and set up telemetry. The thing is, I can't do this in one video because there are so many receivers and fly controllers. So instead, if you look in the description, I'm going to leave you a link to all of my playlists that I've created for all the different receivers, at least the most common receivers for multi rotors. If you have an airplane, glider, plane, boat, whatever, um, then you're probably using a different receiver, but this is a multi rotor channel, so for you guys, these are the most common receivers. I've got the D4R2, X4RSB, XSR, X8R, as well as the new XM and XM Plus. Also, if you want to see all of my playlists, then look in the description on any of my videos at the very bottom. I'll leave a link to it where you'll find all these different playlists. I also have uh, videos with different flight controllers, like the SB Racing Evo, Mini, X Racer, Dodo, you name it. So my point is, I do apologize for uh, redirecting you to other videos, but you'll get a more, I guess you could say a more personalized video, because if you click on any of these playlists, I show you how to connect that specific receiver to various flight controllers, like the Omnibus, Evo, Mini, and so on and so on. I've also added in additional videos for that specific receiver. Uh, it, some of them are how to do repairs on it. If you want to see a comparison between the XSR and uh, other receivers, I've placed that video in all of those playlists. If you need to change the firmware of your receiver from EU to non-EU or vice versa, there's a video for that. So all the information you need is going to be in the playlist for your receiver. And even if your flight controller is not in this playlist, or any of the playlists, then uh, don't worry, the setup is going to be exactly the same. The only difference between flight controllers is the pinout. So you, you'll just have to find the pins, but I walk you through everything and make everything extremely clear. So you should have no problem either way. That does it for this one guys. I hope you connect your receivers, get everything bound and working, your telemetry working, so that way we can continue on with the QX7 series of videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.